Honestly, this football season was on, it was a great experience for me. Um, as a senior, I knew this uh, this season would be very special to me and all the people um, that were playing football. We had a really big class in football. You know, we had 22 people, uh, seniors, so <clears throat> we knew that we'd have to put on a good show for the fans and the community. And this year, just throughout the summer, um, regular season, into the playoffs, put on a really good effort. <clears throat> I just think that, like, this football team is going to leave a legacy for the future teams. Uh, I was pretty nervous whenever we, you know, first got the news that we were going to do it. And then as soon as we got to the assembly, like, it just felt like, you know, I was happy to do it because it felt like she really needed that and she was going through a hard time. And then once I shaved my head, I was, you know, I wasn't nervous at all and I was happy that I could do something for her. Um, it, it felt good. Like, we walked in there, people were cheering for the whole assembly and then we got up shaved her head, and um, everyone was cheering, and a little girl had a smile on her face. A in my work this year was, uh, was pretty easy. Um, I think it was a lot better than having to go and make up those days at school. Um, it took me a little bit longer personally, so I ended up like three or four hours a day working on it, just because I'm a slow worker when I'm just working at home. Um, but yeah, it was, a, it was a lot better and easier than having to go back to school and make up those days during the summer. AMI days were some of my favorite days because I could wake up whenever I wanted, do my work, and it would only take me like 30 minutes, and then I could just enjoy the snow day and have fun and stay inside and watch movies. For me, AMI days were a lot better than in-person school days because, you know, I could just sleep in a little bit, wake up, get done with my homework in three or four hours, and then just have the rest of the day to relax, maybe go outside and play in the snow. And it was just a lot more relaxing and I really enjoyed it. The Winter Games was really impactful to me because I got to hang out with a lot of cool kids and uh, Whenever we were doing the uh, bobsledding, I got to push them around. Got to meet some really cool people and uh, a lot of good people from Fairgrove. Um, it's just really good to surround yourself with a bunch of good people from the program and uh, have a good time with the kids. I enjoyed helping the kids uh, have fun and helping them uh, do the activities that they don't usually get to do. Winter Games was a really good thing to be a part of. It was really fun watching the kids experience different things and it was really amazing to see all the great smiles on their faces. Yeah, for the district championship this year for boys basketball, uh, it was a really fun experience. Um, one that I've never really been in before as being one of the players on the court. Uh, but yeah, this year being ahead by so much and leading the whole game, uh, battling back and forth, uh, it was just a really fun experience to come with the W at the end. You know, the district championship was fun to play in. Uh, I know we all worked hard for it and it was fun to win. It was a good atmosphere. Uh, the fans were all were loud and it was just really good to be in. Yeah, so it was a pretty fun experience writing the play. Alex Bates and I spent many nights together on the phone, just talking it over, talking over ideas, putting it together. And then we fortunately got the opportunity to direct the middle schoolers, kind of guide them and uh, foster our vision with uh, how we wanted it on stage. It was also pretty rewarding to see those middle schoolers really embody the characters that we wrote. So yeah, it was a good experience. So it was super fun experience. Um, I'd never been in something with the author that I knew, and so it was super cool. Uh, Bates and Cooper let me took a bunch of liberties with the character, and so it was cool to see their vision, like pure from the author, but it was also fun uh, to kind of help build the character and act around that. It was a really, really neat experience. I'm very, very proud of my Scholar Bowl team again this year. Of course, they were Class 3 uh, state champions last year, and we had no seniors on the team, so it was a returning team. And uh, we were set to win state again this year, and they bumped us up to Class 4, which uh, we were a little worried about, except that we ended up being about at rank number two in the state and the only, of course we ran up against the number one in the state at the semifinals. so you know we did not make it past that but we were very very close and so that was exciting because then the next weekend we had our national tournament where I took four students up to Chicago and um, 
blew the doors off. We uh, were expected, I think we were seated second going in, and we ended up again hitting the, the, the first place team in the semis. So we ended up fourth in the nation and second uh, in the very small school in the nation. So came back with 13 trophies, and Braden Booth finished fifth overall in, of all the students that were competing there. And so um, it was a glorious day. It was great. It was a really great day for Fairgrove uh, Scholar Bowl and Fairgrove High School. And so uh, it kind of took the sting out of state. Although next year we're looking good again. So for FFA State, we went and my team competed with livestock judging. We also brought a dairy cattle and a meats team. We had some other people win proficiencies and state degrees as well. But with my team, we went and competed at the Trowbridge Center. The contest ended up lasting a few hours longer than it was supposed to. So it was about seven hours long. And with that, we go and we judge classes and then we give reasons. Um, and then every single thing that we do is taken out of 50 points. We try to drop as few points as possible. And by the end of the contest, we weren't feeling super confident after seeing our scores. Um, we weren't expecting to get in the top 10. But when we found out the scores, we learned that we got first by one point. And Hannah and I actually found out in a Cracker Barrel. And she threw her phone in the air and we both started crying. So it was a pretty fun time. With the upcoming Student Council elections, students have some questions about STUCO and what they can do. Now, on to Stephanie Dunham and Evan Jones with some questions. Okay, so this year I'm running for re-election for Junior Class President. Um, we will be giving a speech April 29th. You'll be voting April 29th on your Chromebook. Mr. Van Cleve will send out an email, and the results will come out April or May 3rd. So throughout the years, Duco does um, about three events. That's kind of our plan. We want to do three events every year. So last year we did homecoming, we did coroming, and then we did the monster mash. Um, this year we're probably, or next year, we're probably going to do the same events. So this year, some events that we had with Stuco was we had homecoming, and then we had the monster mash, which had the haunted hallway, and then we also set up core warming, and then we plan on doing all of those next year that I know of so far. My favorite memory this year from Stuco was probably whenever we did the haunted hallway um, for Halloween, and then it was just a lot of fun getting to have fun with my peers and scare them in the hallway, which was a really fun time. So some changes and things we want to improve on with Stuco next year is we want to have a harsher strike system. So basically, if you say you're going to show up and you like don't tell the secretary that you're going to show up or like clear it with the vice president, then we will put a strike like under your name and those strikes will carry over into next year. And then we are becoming more strict about who our members are within Stuco. So that's why we had the applications to fill out this year, and everyone had to fill it out, even um, existing Stuco members, to just kind of get like a flat basis and like recreating the club, basically. And then for next year, we want to get more involved with the community and make our spirit weeks more inclusive and fun for everyone. If you are interested in joining Student Council, go see Van Cleve and the results of elections will come out on May 3rd. Are you stressing about school coming to an end and finals week just around the corner? Lucky for you, we've made a video to help you with the do's and don'ts for finals week. Don't be this guy. Stay off your phone when you're studying. Don't be this guy. Wake up on time and get ready for the day. Don't be this guy. Take your time on your test and do the best that you can. If you need help studying for your finals, don't forget, you can talk to one of your teachers. What's up, Fairgrove? Make sure you come to Pizza and Planning. Fill your bellies with pizza and your minds with knowledge. Okay, let's recap. Step one, study multiple days in advance. Step two, go to bed early. Step three, wake up on time and eat a good breakfast. Step four, get to class on time. Step five, Take your time. You can rest after. Remember, finals week doesn't have to be hard as long as you take care of yourself and work hard. With that, we wish you all a good luck. You're gonna do great. <laughs>